Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Game Feed. Uh, as you know, this is my series where basically I talk about games. I do at least two of these a week. And today I kind of want to talk about three things. Three things in particular. My time with the Oculus Rift, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and the awesome thing that America just did. You know, equality. That's good. So let's go ahead and first talk about this guy right here. The Rift. As you know, um, I did get the Oculus. I did a test thing where I did a trial and error stream, posted it. You guys seem to like it pretty well. And hope you guys like some more. We'll be doing some more later this week. But so far, my time with the Rift, the short time I've had it, has been awesome. I've got probably maybe t 10 different uh, tech demos I've tried out. And my favorite being, um, it's called Windlands, I believe. And it's definitely amazing. I do see, after all, all the hype built around, I finally see the hype. And it's actually well worth uh, everything for it. <laughs> and the way reason I got a hold of it, did trade my iPad for it. Um, a good guy who also did my tattoos. Got new two tattoos today, uh, so I can go Renegade. Well, this is not Renegade. This is Paragon or Renegade. My tattoos are all nerdy, so that's what I do. But uh, yeah, good guy. Um, I'm going to show some of his work later on. But yeah, uh, I traded my iPad for it, which I wasn't using the iPad, but. I had to get a hold of this. I had to get a hold of an Oculus. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. It's a different experience I've never really had. And I do see it being the next big thing. And that's why I believe that you know all these console manufacturers are jumping in on this. Microsoft with HoloLens. Sony with the Morpheus. Steam with Steam VR. Well, I think it's HTC Vive or something like that. But all this stuff is really amazing. Um, but I've got the dev kit too. And... There's some limitations to it. It did take a little bit to set it up, but uh, definitely well worth it. And like I said, I'll have some more stuff coming on later. I just checked out the trailer for something I'm really excited about. It's called Allison Road, which is a uh, VR um, game kind of akin to PT. Really exciting. Um, I'll try to link that in the subscription. Uh, ugh, I can't get my words out today. I'll probably link that below, so you guys can check that out. Um, the next thing I kind of want to talk about right now is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, as you guys know, that got announced um, for E3 on Sony Surprise Conference. And I do apologize. My tongue, ugh, I can't get words out today. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, that's coming. And it's been years in the making. Uh, Tetsuo Nomura, I think that's his name, said he did not want to do this for the longest time. Square Enix didn't want to do it. And as soon as they announced it... Um, their stock just went up the roof, just proving that that's a good thing. The planets aligned, and it's just amazing. Um, and it, you know, they kind of, I think they kind of teased it a long time ago when they shown off what Final Fantasy VII would look like on uh, PlayStation 3 hardware or current gen hardware at the time. Um, and they said, you know, it's just a tech demo. Don't worry about that. That's not real. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I'm excited for. The only thing that scares me, though, is what's going to happen when it comes out? And it's utterly disappointing. Not like... I mean, I haven't played a Final Fantasy game since probably number 10. Well, I played 13, and I hated it. I played two hours of it, and it was garbage. I, that's just my opinion. Uh, I didn't like number 11. I didn't like 12. Uh, not playing 14. I'm not a big MMO guy. Um, the only MMO I currently like is ESO, so that's something. But the thing I'm afraid of is they're going to ham it up somehow. Rather, change change it to a real-time battle system, similar to what you're seeing on Final Fantasy XIV. That's no, 15. I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to see that. I, I kind of wish they would keep an active time battle, but I don't see that happening. I think they're going to modernize it. It's going to be something we don't want. And they're going to cut th some things out, um, like the Materia system. They'll probably keep the Materia system, but it's probably going to be very limited. Um, that's what I'm afraid of. And the story, I think they're going to change it to um, just to make it more... Uh, I don't care them adding things, but I don't want it to change the overall tone. Um, just because, you know, it's, it's a classic to me, and I, I love, the, love the game. Uh, I've played it probably like ten times all the way through uh, since it came out. Uh, I was a, I was a couple years with Hina because I think I got it um, as soon as it hit the greatest hits version of it, 
as the first day I'm not going to PlayStation. I got a PlayStation, no memory card, so I basically play the game. It was, I'd get out of uh, Midgar and get all the way to, um, uh, was it Nibelheim? I don't know. Uh, I'd get all the way to the grass marshes where you fight the big snake, and then I'd have to turn it off. So it's been like, it usually takes about four or five hours to get to that point. <laughs> so, a lot of waste of time, which finally I got a memory card when I was a kid, and played through it, and played through it, and played through it, and learned the battle systems, it got knights at a round table, got the golden chocobos, which you could only get if you had knights. And I think it was the X summon you could get, but you could summon everything, but I think it was a random, maybe, I don't know. But... The thing is, I want I want Final Fantasy VII to be amazing. I'm sure everybody else does, and um, yeah, that's what I think about it. I don't want it to get destroyed. And I'm sure you don't. Now, next awesome thing. I, there's no real easy way to segue into this, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, just a little bit, but America did something really awesome. We just gave uh, a bunch of people the right to love each other. Everybody can love each other. Now, the only thing they need to legalize is marijuana. So, once they do that, I guess we're fine. But, anyways, no, it's awesome. Uh, I got some friends um, that have probably been waiting for this forever. So, they can finally get married. And it's just nice. I think everybody, everybody that lives in the United States or the world has, should have the right um, to freely love somebody without being criticized. I know this is probably going to get a lot of heat. Uh... Because, I, like I said, I live in a town, well, an area where it's basically the Bible Belt. So these people, sometimes they can yeah, get angry. But, no, it's really cool. I'm very happy about it. Um, so I think that's a step forward. Some people say it's a step backwards. Um, the only thing I could see possibly is you're probably going to see more people, like, take offense to it. The only thing I can see it truly affecting is... Uh, religious people, which, if you know me, I'm not really super religious or anything at that matter, but I, you know, I believe everybody has a right to do something, but I don't think people should have been withheld that right to marry each other. So, I mean, everybody should be able to get married, I guess, and everybody should be able to get a divorce. So, I mean, it's a good time to be a lawyer, maybe. Uh, but anyways, um... That's kind of what I want to talk about today. Uh, it's not the best video in the world, but it's something I wanted to get out. Just get it out there, and probably later this week, and we'll do some more Oculus testing. So I'll have that out, have another episode of the Game Feed, and hopefully it'll be better than this one. But if you do like this video, please hit subscribe, share it, and you can also check out my new subreddit. I created a subreddit on Reddit. Doc. It's r slash... Panto 6, uh, you can check out in the links just right on the banner there. Just go to that, join the discussion, create threads, just have a blast. I hope you guys enjoy it. But anyways, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe button, and I love you. Take it easy.